Well, it's Friday. It's just in the evening now. We got some decent snow coming out. Walking around on my Crocs, just had to grab something out of the truck. But went and bought a bat of insulation and some wood here. So I'm going to start uh, making some stuff for the, you know. Oh, why is that all overexposed? There we go. I'm going to start doing some wood stove stuff this weekend. I'm going to be taking out this corner window, the other corner one behind it. Uh, then going from there, but... Ah, slippers. You're in my <laughs> slippers. Oh, those aren't meant to get wet. <laughs> uh, okay, hey, I'm getting alert messages finally. I don't know what talking about. Mm -hmm. That was something else. Did you just fart? No. Okay, so starting by gutting down some of this wood here. The idea is to cut that bloop, right there. Actually, I might even do it right at that line right there. Uh, that's all going to be spent board. Spent board, probably up to the end because it's just this behind here. And uh, spent board maybe all the way up across those windows. So I might even end up going right up to there. I'm not too sure yet. But for now, I'm happy because I pulled this off and it's insulation. Uh, wasn't taped, so I just gave it a quick-ish tape. But that will be all ripped out and I'll be matching the insulation across this whole thing. Okay, well, once I get the rest of this out, we'll see how it looks. And just giving the heater the final run. So, and then it's being taken down. Okay, so we decided we're going to go all the way to the bottom, do it right. All this is coming off. Uh, Re-insulated. I got a bag of insulation. And I come to the corner where my saw won't cut here. And, of course, I'm using a shitty oscillating tool here that I bought. 10, 5, 6, 7, 8 years ago. Well, it charges. It's good for about 15 seconds and the battery shot. Looks like three 18650s in there, but yeah, I'm just looking positive and negative. I'm just going to hook up 12 volts of car battery power to her and try her out. Well, I got my power probe hooked up to the car battery. Positive, negative, positive. We'll see if it works. You want to hold the camera? Okay, so if I hold this right there, short circuit protection. Mm, nothing. Interesting. There we go. Ooh, that was fast. It's kind of too fast now. <laughs> the blade's too skinny. I'm cutting right in. It's nice. I got my switch here to turn it on and off instead. It sounds like it's dying. This is going fast. Look at that, power probe to the rescue. Just gotta get that ground terminal off. There we go. <laughs> See, I'm glad I didn't throw that in the fire. Who would have thought that a, a freaking $10 power probe would have worked? Well, I would have thought. <laughs> Redneck and it works. Okay, so got this all pretty much gutted down the way I need to. How did I just turn on that motion light from inside? Is that sensor? Oh, the sensor is actually aiming sideways. Oh, that's pretty sweet. So you can see why we're getting rid of the windows. A little bit of water in there. But you can see here in the gap on the side, uh, the water actually builds up right here in this corner and drips right down through there. Uh, but just got the plugs there taped off. Uh, they used the freaking garden holes in between those two, but it's newer wiring just like this. That's kind of very strange. <laughs> so, 
I guess for now, I'll just leave those. Uh, don't want to really play around with them too much, but just got them taped off there. So next thing to do is rip off this whole side right here. Now, as for that guy there, what I'm going to do is just notch out the 2x6, fold it back this way, uh, cap it off, and pull it down later on, and it will be turned into probably a plug that I can just on the outside of this wall. Not too sure yet. Switch it over to an outside or maybe just rip it right out. Not too sure yet. Fun, fun, fun. And looks like I'm going to get to play with the diesel snowplow in the morning. Yeah, and it's about an inch and a half of snow. <laughs> and gotta love that fancy light. <laughs> Proxy? Is this box made for you? <laughs> Come on. You got a couple more years before you get thrown in a box. Are you trying to use that as a fake wood stove? Are you trying to see how crooked my base is? <laughs> oh, what a brat of a puppy. She wants in the box. She just always wants into the box. Puppy. Like, come on. <laughs> and on the final piece of wood that we have, and then I got a few more outside. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, oh, just heard a gunshot. Someone might have got a deer. Well, I'm searching for a piece of plywood in the garbage pile here that I need three quarter inch plywood. Or the five eighths, I have no clue. But I got a little bit that I was going to use somewhere out here. And I just need to find it. <laughs> uh, I sure hope it's not in that pile. And it might be. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Oh, I know, I see it right here. That's what I was looking for. Just this strip right here. Yep. It's about minus 15 outside today. A little bit chilly. Poor tree. This might be the actual little bit I need. Perfecto. Yeah, a little bit crummy, but seen a little piece of it. Might do a cold start on the old diesel today. There's uh, about two inches of snow, so. But I mean. Might be a fun project. <laughs> Should start. It's just going to use that battery to its maximum, but okay. Well, I'm going to put this away for a while and uh, got to bring in some 2x6s too. Fun, fun. Okay, so it might not look the straightest. It's not really that side's longer than this side, but I think Proxy thinks it's going to be her box. She yeah. said you're building me a throne, right? That's the only possible reason you could be doing this. <laughs> she just thinks it's going to be her puppy box. Well, right now, it's only two screws holding it to the wall, so we can pull it out. The idea is to use some uh, sequel flex or whatever it's called uh, underneath everything. Cousta seal. Cousta seal, same thing. Uh, and then we'll be polying brand new insulation, which, where did that even... Oh, where did the bag go? Oh, right here. So, uh, got that plug, uh, just moving it up a tiny bit. Yes, there's a junction box for that, but the junction box they had, they had a garden hose running over top that wire, the old owners. So, just went and picked up, I don't even know where that went. That's what they had over it. So, the bottom's all blown out of it, so I'm just going to replace it for a, a new box, a double box. So, but... That also needs to go into a box. We didn't get that? Oh, yeah, that's right there. Yep. Uh, actually, that wire will probably be pulled down. So that's for the old 30 amp uh, heater. So don't need that anymore. But we'll see. I might just box it off right there temporary. Well, it looks kind of like a blent mess. But right here is like 60 feet of wood in here, all two by sixes. Some were ones that I bought a few months back that were sitting outside. But... Just want to put another brace across there. I don't think I'll worry about back there, but maybe a small one there. But just unbolting it now, unscrewing it, because I got to be able to pin some of them from the back. I got to get the vapor barrier, change the insulation, uh, clean up the wiring, and a bunch of other stuff. Fun, 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 fun. <laughs> yeah, I had pretty much exactly the amount of wood I need. I got one more 2x6 outside, which I'll just need to just make that a bit better. It will hold the weight. That is for sure. Okay, now time for the fun part. Still need one more board across there. But now we got to get ready to uh, seal up all the insulation. 
and everything we need. Fun, fun, fun. Well, we just went to make a minus 20 or so cold start of the diesel tractor. So just got that blowing some heat in here from the house. And of course we got a little 1500 watt heater. Uh, believe it or not, it's like minus 20 outside. It's kind of chilly a bit. Uh, tractor took three minutes of cranking to start. That's about what I expected, so. <laughs> A little frozen, just a bit. Going to need this tape soon. So now we gotta technically start cleaning off all that, or cleaning out all that insulation. Seco flex the bottom plate. Uh, vapor barrier is actually going to curl over everything. So floor is not insulated yet. Uh, so the skirting is going to be insulated later. Uh, I gotta drill a hole for intake air. So, check this out. Look at the frost on these wall. <laughs> yeah, that's good for the wood, hey? Yeah, I don't know. Well, we have to get it done. <laughs> and that's from heating and cold and cooling, I mean. All the moisture on these single pane windows. Again, these two are going out. Those ones are gonna be uh, blocked off. You can see the foam that we normally use. Just haven't done it yet. <laughs> and uh, before we do that, we gotta technically melt them. Okay, so there we go. I got acoustic seal lint everywhere. Temporary. Messy. Some of it, but got a blob across the bottom there. Just got to do a little trimming and then this thing's going in place. Okay, so for this weekend, that's how it's getting done. Now, I hope that stays sealed decent because uh, even with the heat on, it's getting cold again outside. It was uh, minus 20 today. Uh, yeah, it's kind of redneck looking to a point. I know, I know. And again, I still want to put more bracing in here. Uh, at least minimum one right there. Probably do another one there. Another one across here. Maybe one more at the back there. I got another eight foot board sitting outside, but everything screwed down and right now it seems to be pretty decent so yep I guess that's the way I'm gonna leave it and next weekend we'll be blowing out these two windows and uh, continuing the insulation and uh, probably even put up some plywood so there we go not too bad of course I was doing other stuff too so I could have got a lot more done but everywhere's closed it's the holiday or a holiday Remembrance Day. Well, that's it for today. Well, I'm back at my dad's. Uh, so, uh, this is going to be going on the diesel. This is made by Oxbeam. So, it's uh, on magnetic mounts right now, just temporary. It's uh, It has a yellow light and a white light. So, I'm going to be tossing that on the diesel. And other than that, uh, not much is going on right now. So just back in the city here, got to do some cleaning. Again, the sunroom, I'm getting ready to heat it with the wood stove, but it's probably going to be a little bit of a further project away, you know, money for piping and everything. But going to be doing a little bit of cleaning here over the next bit. So got lots of stuff to go through. So I even got the old snapper racing tractor down there. Uh, lots of stuff. But the thing is, once the sunroom is heated, I can at least start doing projects there, as in the Volkswagen transmission up there I'll probably bring that to my house I got lots of different things up there that I got to start hauling away bringing to my house but a lot of it the reason why it's not at my house right now like all that stuff right there <laughs> all the stuff from like there there's so much of it but I don't want to bring it to my house because the sunroom hasn't been heated and a lot of this stuff I don't want to leave outside so well got to go through a lot of stuff uh, need to still get some plywood and a bunch of vapor barrier and a bunch more stuff for the wood stove going to be doing a concrete uh base on it so a lot of work there again it'll be a few months away but so much stuff to haul out there once i get it heated <laughs> 